Then of course, if you've got the most powerful V12 in Lamborghini history, you should showcase it and they have. There is no glass over the engine cover. That's quite Bugatti. You've just got this carbon spine coming down from the roof scoop because if you're doing a few off hypercar, you're going to have a roof scoop, aren't you? It adds a thousand hypercar aura points. And coming down the side, you start to play a game of, well, spot the Lamborghini reference. Your Rebenton style turbine wheels here with center locks like an Aventador SV. The general side of the car, I mean, it could only be a Lamborghini silhouette. They've nicked a bit of that from our friend, the old Kuntash model over here. But then this intake here is inspired by the revival of the Kuntash. We'll have a look at that in a moment. It's actually interesting that this again is not just for style, adding this bigger battery, adding more power to the engine has played havoc with the cooling that have been designed for the Revolto. They need so much more cooling to keep these things at the right temperature. So engine cooling's being done here. There's oil cooling and battery cooling coming out the back. And then aero is interesting because you've got this color split. Can you see that? It sort of reminds me of the Aston Valkyrie, not in how extreme it is, but in how you've got this body color up top for the sort of styled bits and then bare carbon down below for the all business aerodynamics, which Lamborghini's actually been at longer than you might have thought. As we get into 2014, Lamborghini's really getting the hang of this, really getting into its stride. 